Hey everybody, alright, so I know it's been a little while, a little while since I've um, done a review, but today I'm going to be doing a review on this um, lace front edge. Okay, not a lace front, but lace front edge um, wig by Sensational. And her name is Taylor, and she's a very um, tight curl pattern. Um, it's almost like a little bit of like, they're, I mean, they're tiny little spirals, but they're just so tight and uniform that I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to do a finger comb her. And I did finger comb her on one side just to kind of see um, what she would look like a little bit. Um, but I have not worn her yet. I have not worn her out. I tried her on once. So let's see what we can do with her. I have her number four. So she is a medium light brownish color. Um, and then she does have three combs. She's got one right here in the middle, and then she's got the two on the side. And they come down right on top of your ear, which is my favorite. Um, I don't like um, I don't like the ones that are like right here. They really hurt. They tend to give me headaches too. I don't like those. So this is good in that aspect. Um, let me show what you uh, let me show what you show you what they mean by the lace front edge. So as you can see, the lace is literally from there to there. Like that's it. That's it. From there to there. Not not all this, just there to there. It's like, it's not even a half an inch. It's like a fourth of an inch. So literally just around the edges. And it says it has baby hairs, which I guess um, those little little bitty hairs would be considered baby hairs. They're kind of crazy. And since the curl pattern is so tight and there's, you know, they do kind of blend into the curls, and it's kind of hard to brush them out away from the other hair. So, but I guess if you get like a little tooth, a little toothbrush or a little um, comb, you can probably brush those out a little more. So, and then she does have the comb in the back, as well as the adjustable strap and the little tabs that'll lay flat. So, um, let's see what we can do with her. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, I have it on. And I, um, I have a hip and there's not a bump. I do have a bun in the back of my head, and then I just, it's hair washing day, so my hair's crazy. But I do have a little bun, and I just kind of tacked it down against my neck with a bobby pin. So hopefully it'll be flat enough. So let's go ahead and put this on. See what we're working with. Um, I do feel like it's a bit unrealistic, just because I don't know anybody that has this um, curl pattern. I don't. <laughs> so um, I am probably gonna finger comb it because, as you can see, it's a little more fluffy on this side than on this side. I have done a little bit of finger combing over here, but not so much on here. So I want to see, I want to see like what it looks like when it comes out which it looks like that, very uniform and flat. So, just kind of, I like to do this, and just kind of fluff it up a little bit. Um, and then let's see what, you put the combs in. Um, it's actually pretty snug. Um, so, if you don't like to use combs, you really wouldn't have to with this one. It's nice and snug. But I'm going to, just for this, I might, I might not actually wear them. Um, okay, so as you can see, the hairline, not the most natural thing in the world, right? Very round, very in your face, like, wow. Um, so I'm just going to go underneath here and just lift up and pull out some of my own baby hair around the edges. Okay. And... Make sure you lift it up so you're not like tugging on your hair. Okay, I just go very slowly, take little tiny pieces, and try not to pull my hair. Okay, so let's see. So, all this is my hair. 
I would recommend taking some of your own hair out just because the baby hair is, I don't think it's sufficient enough um, to do what you need to do with this hairline. And even if you didn't want to pull any out, even if you just wanted to slide it back a little more, that would be fine because you're not going to have that issue of like with the parting because there is no parting. So, um, you know, like that. And then, so I think that helps a little soften it up a little bit. Um, let's see if we can get a little closer here without me having to like bend up and every time. All right, so as you can see, there's that. If you did want to use that little bit of part, you could, but I don't see it really working out that well. Cause, I mean, it's it's literally like that much. You think the whole one and a half inch parting thing is ridiculous? This is like not even worth it, really. So it just kind of gives you. I'm not I'm not really sure what the point of it is. I just kind of want to try it. But I do like the fact that I find it easier, like if you want to slide it back, you can slide it back without it looking crazy. It's kind of like, I, I guess I could like compare the front edge, lace, lace front edge. I think it would be most comparable to um, like a half wig that you pull up really, really close, you know, so like wearing it back here, like pulling it up close. But it being a lot easier to blend because there's not the lace. So you can just bring yours out and it still looks very realistic. So I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, it just my hair just blends right in. And there's not any lace, so you can pull it out with having to worry, without having to worry about giving up that um, parting. So that is what she looks like. She's, I mean, she's cute. I think she's gonna look better. Um, once I kind of pull at her, I think she's just, I mean, if you were to have this amount of hair, it would not be like this flat. It would be bigger. And that's just my opinion. Like, you know, if you're going to have this much curly hair, it's going to be bigger. You know, so I'll just give it a little body. Just kind of running my fingers through, playing with the curls a little bit. And I think it looks better now. Let me know what y'all think, but I mean, I think it looks better. So I'm just going to try and do that to this side as well. Just kind of run your fingers over it. Pull them apart. Um, I don't know that I would suggest brushing this one. Just because you don't want to mess up the curls completely. You just kind of want to loosen them. Um, now, if it's not working, you could, I guess, go in with a tiny little brush and take, you know, pieces here and there and kind of brush them out. But, um, and it does help with the shine because there is a little bit, there was a little bit of shine when I got her, but just by finger combing is going to help with the shine because you're breaking apart those tight curls and you're working, you know, you're putting a little friction against those fibers in the hair, so it's kind of, you know, they're not all shiny and new. They're kind of being torn apart a little bit. Oops, the string. Um, so just, you know, work it with your fingers. And like I said, I did get a four. It's been a while since I just got plain four. I'm kind of trying to go back into that color. I missed the fours. Um, and they still, it's, it's a good four. Um, I do have, I think the only brand I really have an issue with, their four, is uh, Altre. It's a little too golden. A little too golden. Alright, so, and this one on top, it is a little iffy, so, I mean, you're going to want to keep some of these little pieces going backwards. Um, but... She was $24. Like I said, I did get her on one of the sales. I'm going to say it was the 4th of July sale or whatever other sale was before that. I think it was, maybe it was Mother's Day. Maybe that's when I got her. It was one of those sales. Um, I just can't help myself. <laughs> Even if, you know, I go through months without, with, you know, telling myself, I'm not going to buy anything. As soon as the sale comes, I've got to get something. Um, so I did get this one. 
and I need to get another one. I got a short straight one, and I'm gonna do a, another video on that after this one. So, yeah. So she's getting bigger now. Well, let me know what y'all think, and let me show you what she looks like. This is her, just like all kind of tossed backwards, and she does have layering in her. So I don't know if y'all can see that. She's got you know different layers. I actually, honestly, in all honesty, I would probably cut her a little, I would probably make the um, layers a little more drastic. Like, I would probably take off a little more length around the face just to frame it a little more, but that is just me. And I'm just going to continue to kind of pull at these curls uh, slowly and just kind of get it a little bigger. So that's what she looks like. This is what she looks like inside. Okay. This is what she looks like from the back. Okay, right, I'll see that. And then this side. Um, let's see. She's very I mean she's a she's a white wig. She's not really heavy. Um not really super heavy at all. I just don't think the curl pattern is that believable, honestly. But, well, the more you work with her, the better she does become. Um, I would definitely suggest if you do wear her, if you do purchase her, work with the curls a little more up here because, you know, everybody knows your curls don't, I mean, curls don't come out of your head, like, all perfect and stuff like that. I mean, it's a little fuzzier than, you know. So, it's just, it's way too uniform. Um, in the curl pattern. So just, I'm just going to mess it up and play with it a little more and see where I can get her, see what I'm going to do with her. Um, but I do like the color. I really do miss miss my fours. Um, but yeah, and this is Taylor. So let me know what you all think. I would say she's about, I would say she's about 16 inches. About, sorry, no. Um, she's about 16 inches. And I think she's pretty. She's fun. Um, and just, you know, just be careful when you're wearing her about this part up here. Make sure you have some hair going back. So, um, and I want to say she's heat resistant, but I'll make sure I put all that in the description box. Um, and I did purchase her from Hair Sisters. She got here in a pretty good amount of time. I'm back on good terms with Hair Sisters. I did have some problems the first time I ordered from them, but since then, they've been pretty good. And, um, but yeah, this is her. So, let me know what you think. Um, and like I said, I do have another one that's been sitting in my closet. Actually, I think I have two more. That I've been sitting in my closet that I need to, you know, kind of look over and review and stuff. I haven't, haven't put them on my head in a little bit. So, um, yeah, just let me know what you think. And if I have any questions. Now, this is not going to be, this will probably be like um, an occasional wig. Like, I'm not going to wear this every day. Um, so, it'll be a little while until I know how she holds up. But um, I think she's I think she's gonna be nice. I think she's gonna be nice. I already like her um, a lot better now that I have um, finger combed her and stuff. She's just she's getting to be very very pretty. So um, don't forget to rate and subscribe and leave your comments below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you think because I'm curious. I like to hear feedback and. Know what y'all think. Sometimes, like, I was thinking something so cute and I'm so far off. So, <laughs> let me know what y'all think, okay?